And here you are, the wait is over, the creme de la creme, the master suite. This is your own in-suite bathroom. Look at this bathtub, I'm sure it's the first thing that drew your eye. It's almost like a big hollowed out stone sitting here with a faucet moving into it, beautifully located. And the reason I say that is there's a outdoor balcony right here that you can open those swingy doors, get a breeze, steaming hot bath, sounds beautiful and it really is. Another thing that I find quite beautiful is this walk-in shower over here. Take a look at the exposed Riverstone feature wall. It makes it so much nicer, makes it so much more unique and when buying a home like this, it's those small touches that you appreciate the most. And then on either side of the bathtub, you've got a split vanity so you and your partner never need to fight about space around your vanity. Beautiful pewter faucets going into those. Plenty of under counter storage. Behind me, you'll find the toilet. And now, coming from the bathroom, you might be asking me, Chad, where's the walk-in closet? And guys, you will not be disappointed. This has its very own walk-in closet. But something I want to mention before is right over here, this beautiful, almost floor to ceiling window that makes me think of uh, the New York style. It's a New York style window. Beautiful, love how it's designed. But here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I know some of you love this stuff. Walk-in closet, plenty of cupboard space, window behind me, letting in all that natural light. And it's out of the way, but close enough to the bathroom for you to use it when you need it. But here we are, the master suite, another fireplace, wood fireplace, keeping you warm during the winter months above us. That again, country style rafter system that keeps up the ceiling. Love how it's designed, your very own balcony within your master suite as well. Windows in front of me, balcony behind me, windows on the left hand side of me, beautiful wood flooring. And take a look at all the space in here. King bed and it doesn't even feel in the slightest bit cramped. Guys, I could do laps around you. If there was a rowing machine, I could row around you. But that is everything we have to show you with this beautiful home in Danefern Valley. Now time to show you the master suite, the creme de la creme, the one and only. So walking through the kitchen, through the dining room, here you are. This is exactly where all the memories are gonna be made. This is the master suite of a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom, penthouse, one of three in the Lombardi Broad Acres. Here it is, huge, spacious, open area, plenty of down lighting, another repeat of that really cool bulkhead ceiling that illuminates the two vanities on both sides of your bed. You can see this bed is dwarfed by the space we're in, which is so, so rare when it comes to penthouse suites. Again, specifically when we talk this price point. On my left hand side, so much cupboard space, wardrobe space, all of it again, touched to open. I love mentioning that because it's so nice to have a clean, open space behind you. In front of me, we've got a TV mounted to the wall. All the connections are there. So if you are big into entertainment and you want a TV in your bedroom, it's there. No drilling, no mounting required. On my right hand side, access to the bulk area, an area we've yet to visit and we're going there next. But first, behind me, the master suite bathroom. Let's take a look at that. Let's then head out to the balcony, take a look at the view and talk about what it would take if you want to live in here next. Now, heading into your master bathroom, you'll see on the right hand side, a linen closet there in case you do need that extra storage. But here it is, the master bathroom, huge piece of glass on your right hand side as soon as you walk in and that there is splitting your real life walk-in shower from the rest of the bathroom. You've got your floating toilet, hidden system, single vanity, massive piece of marble there, doubling as a countertop. Above it, your mirror, and below it, some under counter storage. But now, it is time to take a look at that balcony. And here it is, your very own outside area, penthouse suite, stunning view of the Lombardi. Now there's a couple of things I'd like to talk about while we're on this balcony. One, as you can see with the tint, that tint that protects your inside from too much sunlight also provides you a lot of privacy. You can see it's almost blacked out, but inside a lot of light is still coming through. That's one thing I'd like to talk about. The other thing is this, I'd say privacy hedge that's been fitted to the railings 
As someone who's lived in a penthouse before, I love that this affords you so much privacy. You can sit down here and nobody can see through the slats. This hedge was provided exclusively for this video by Distinctive Spaces. So if you're looking to do something like this in your home, in your penthouse, on your railings, give them a shout, search them on Facebook. You can then ask for a quote. And here we are guys, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and this room is decorated impeccably. Take a look, this stunning bed again, the area rug behind me. As I mentioned, the interior designer did a impeccable job. We've got this feature wall in gray that looks stunning. These two side tables, all of this comes with it. And then right over here, all the mounting points you might need for another one of those incredible flat screens right against the wall. We've got cupboards flanking the middle wall. And then right there in the corner, we've got glass on glass windows, the tinting right there, giving you 180 degree views of the rest of Rosebank, all the way down to downtown Hyde Park, as well as some of Greenside. Really does look absolutely incredible. But I'm sure a lot of you noticed, because you know how I love my showers. So right behind me and right behind this piece of frosted glass is your bathtub, stunning deep, wide love bathtubs like that we've got frosted glass right over there bringing in a lot of natural light but let's talk about this bathroom because it does come with two single vanities as i mentioned i love these circular freestanding vanities more of that caesar stone that matches throughout underneath under counter storage and then this massive mirror right here bulkhead ceiling above you giving you all the down lighting you could ever need and then very important i love that they've included is right over here you've got all this cupboard space and then behind this is where you'll find tucked away your bathroom and again all the cherries on top guys soft closed lid hidden cistern but here we are my favorite the shower the rainfall shower opening this door huge shower and then a floor to ceiling window frosted glass i'd be tempted to maybe peel off that frosting and then you get a view while showering although the caveat to that is you're probably going to be giving all of Rosebank a view as well. But guys, how cool is this master suite? I think they've done so well here. Really does feel spacious, specifically for a penthouse, and it feels really, really upmarket. But that does come to the end. Here we are within the master suite. So coming into this, this is one of the few entrances into the master suite. The other being right behind me, behind this solid wood door. But let's talk about this master suite. If I cut across, here we are within the walk-in bathroom, floating bathtub here, beautiful Italian tile, and then your marble here, which accounts for your two vanities as well as the two mirrors with your plantation blinds right here in the center. You've got your shower being a full-on walk-in shower as well as your toilet behind this frosted glass door and then your heated towel rack so you can't have chilly towels in a bathroom like this just here off to the left. Pushing forward, here we are within the master suite itself. It is absolutely massive. Four speakers in the ceiling. Again, you've got your central air conditioning, glass doors, lining every single section of this so you can either go out onto your outdoor shower or you can move on to your private balcony and again take a look at the pool house in the grounds yeah we've got a king size bed that is absolutely massive not even taking up a fraction of the space and then if you are using that bathtub and you want some privacy you've got these wooden slats again plantation slats coming across and just giving you all the privacy you might need and how cool is that if you want to open it up let some of that steam out there you go quick and easy so let's close these let's move them across and let's show you what else this bedroom has to offer and the first thing would be your walk-in closet fully decked out and what master suite would be complete without your very own walk-in closet in the center you've got sunglasses watches any kind of holder you might need right here on these display cabinets with glass inlets. You've got your mirrors right over here opening up into some more storage space and lining every wall are your cupboards for all of your clothing, making you feel 
like the superstar you are when you're living in a home just like this. Come on, let's show you exactly what a master suite in a 14.9 million rand home within Monopam Farm looks like. And you're seeing it in all of its glory. It is everything you've seen in the other bedrooms and more. Taken to the extremes, so beautifully done. I cannot get enough of this flooring and the cast concrete ceilings. But take a look at the bathroom behind me and please enjoy just how much space is within this master bedroom. But let's talk about this bathroom first. Now, the bathroom has got this incredibly large pebble bath, three standing faucets running your bathtub. Can you imagine sitting in there and enjoying the views outside? Then we've got a double vanity, plenty of undercount storage, and take a look at just how large that mirror is. Both your toilet as well as your walk-in shower sectioned off with glass. But what else makes this bedroom so different? And that is the walk-in closet. It is extra large with extra space for all of the stuff you're gonna accumulate living right over here. And when you're done with your walk-in closet and you want a little bit of privacy, take a look at just how cool this sliding door is. The creme de la creme, as I've mentioned it, has got so much. Central air conditioning system, fan, windows overlooking the gardens, this plush carpet, plenty and plenty of space, including cupboard space and its very own hallway with frosted glass. Now this master bedroom has been styled really nicely. We've got this beautiful wallpaper showing a vista of trees just behind where the bed is. We've got so much space in the corner right over here, just between two windows, looking out onto your grounds that you can utilize for a little sitting or reading area. We all like reading nooks. But you might be looking at this and saying to me, Chad, that is a really nice bedroom. It's a bulkhead ceilings. Chad, I like it, but we've seen so much more. Where's the walk-in closet, Chad? Where's the fireplace? And you know what? I've actually got a lot more to show you. So come with me. And here we are, what a walk-in closet this is. This actually reminds me of a Santin boutique. It's done so nicely. Beautiful mirrors on all of the wardrobes with that X pattern. This stunning chandelier here, center floating island with a mirror inset. And something that I like, and I think a lot of you ladies might actually tell me I might be right here, but let me know if I'm wrong. It's just in the corner is a place where you'd be doing your makeup. But there are two windows facing out there with those plantation shutters. So when you do your makeup, you've got natural light on your face instead of either halogen or down lighting so you can see exactly what you're doing. I love what they've done here. Again, that plush carpet underneath me. But wait until you see the master bathroom. Let's go take a look. And here you go, the master suite bathroom. This bathroom is incredible. Like I've mentioned, done so different from all the other bathrooms. I mean, what bathroom do you know that's got a chandelier above you? On my left hand side, marble countertop, double vanity, those Victoria style cupboards, all of the faucets here, those beautiful gold faucets are St. James. We've then got a walk-in shower that is done reminiscent for me at least, like those London style apartments, the glass is segmented into little rectangles. I love how it looks. The flooring, those tiles continue right into the bathroom and into the shower. I love how it's done. In the corner, where I've put you guys, I'm sorry guys, I love you, but I've put you where the toilet is situated. The, to the toilet door can be closed so you can get a little bit of privacy. All the windows around you, and trust me, there are many, one, two, three, four windows, all frosted. Beautiful bathroom. All you bathroom connoisseurs, I want you to let me know in the comments what you think about this beautiful bathroom.